Welcome to Success Hub. Uh, my name is Balan Murli and I have selected and I have been selected as a probationary officer in State Bank of India. I am here to give you some tips for the IBPSPO preparation. First of all, very big congrats for everyone who have cleared the mains exam. Now let us see what what you will be facing or what how you should prepare yourself for the interview. So the first and foremost thing is the moment you enter the room, I always ask for an excuse and Unless until a seat has been offered, don't take the seat. You can go and stand near the seat, but don't take the seat. The moment the seat is offered, try to say thanks for everyone. Try to look at each and every one of their faces. That is the most important. That is the acknowledging of everyone. So first and foremost thing is acknowledging everyone. You have to see each and every one of their faces. That is the most important thing. The next one is like your body language and the eye contact. Body language is like you have to be obviously going in formals. Always go with a clean shaven and for girls it is salwar, salwar and pati. Go with a proper formal dress. This eye contact thing is the same what I have said, acknowledging everyone. Whenever someone is asking any questions, if you are if some if you are asking any questions to someone, if that someone is seeing somewhere and answering you, you will not feel good, right? The same way for the interviewers. If they are asking you a question, you have to look into their eye. And also doesn't mean that you have to look into the person who is asking the question. You have to look at each and every one of them. The next one is like a smile. This is one of the most important thing which has been missed by many of the students. So always have a smile in your face. Then this moment of the hands. Many people have the habit of moving their hands when they are talking in front of many people. I mean like when they are presenting, when they are doing a presentation or something like that. So remember this is not the presentation, this is an interview. So try to avoid this moving of your hands. So now let us Go to the questions, let us see the questions what you can expect actually in the exam. The first and foremost question will be the you about yourself. This not only in the bank exams or bank interviews, this kind of question will be coming in each and every interview for each and every job. So be prepared to answer for this question, be, be well prepared actually. Like if you are talking about something about yourself, it should be true first of all. If you are if you are like faking something, yes, obviously they will be finding out because like we have seen lakhs and lakhs of students like me and you. And like if you are faking something, they will be easily finding it out. And also when you are ending the answer for this section, this, this particular question, try to end with your strongest point. I mean like the, your next question will be starting from that strongest point. So when you are answering this question, be careful what, about what you are answering. Then they might ask you about your hobbies. This hobbies you might be mentioning in your bio data form which they will be asking you to fill. When you are filling the bio data form also be careful. If though not everyone will be having the same hobbies first of all. And the same way not everyone will be having the same strength or weakness. So better not to copy it from someone. Think about yourself. Think what you can talk about yourself. Then you can mention strength and weakness or and the same way your hobbies. The next question might be from your graduation subjects. So suppose like if you are a fresh graduate or like if you don't have any work experience, there are good number of chances you might be getting questions from this graduation subjects. Graduation subjects not very depth into the subject, maybe like very common questions you you, you might expect. These questions you may like you know, search search over the net you should be able to get the graduation questions or something like that. Then if you are having work experience, be very prepared to explain about your work, your work experience and also how to answer this last question. Why banking up to detail? This is the most important question which has been asked for each and every engineer who is attending the interview process. So maybe like you can relate these two questions. How your work experiences will be helping you in banking or something like that. Also, the least the last one is the gap in academics. If you are having any gap in your academics, be prepared for this question also. If you are having gap in academics, for sure you will be getting this question from the interviewers. Hmm. Yeah. Next you might expect basic banking questions. Basic banking questions is this is not something new for us. This is the same thing which we might have prepared for our main exam. Like repo rate, reverse repo rate, CRR, SLR like explanation of each and every data I mean like what is a repo rate, what is a reverse repo rate, what will be the difference between these two or what will be the difference between these two, something like that. Again like types of accounts, deposits, types of checks, 
difference between a check and a DD. These are the questions which we might have prepared already for the mains exam. The same questions you might expect. What is an NPA? What is a PCA? Financial inclusion. When you are talking about financial inclusion, they might talk about payment banks, they might talk about small finance banks or something like the difference. They might ask you a difference between what is a uh, payment bank and what is a small finance bank. Sometimes they might also ask what is NEFT or what is RTGS, what is the maximum amount which can be transferred or, or else what is the minimum amount which can be transferred, what is the SWIFT report and these are the questions you might expect from the basic banking questions. These are the questions which actually have come for the interviews which I, I have faced some questions and some are the questions which I have gotten from my friends who faced the SBAPO exam 2000, PO interview 2018. So, talking about the current affairs, current affairs, you might be asked about the governors or like very recently we know about what has happened in RBA, right? You can expect such kind of questions. Then, GST benefits, importance of bank and GDP growth. These are like very common questions which can be asked. Then, like appointments, who is appointed as whom, I mean, like very recently what has happened. Then, Sports of India has won any cricket cup or any football cup or any commonwealth games. Not only for India, like they might ask you like where this commonwealth games happened or something like that. Then current affairs related to banking. This is the most common thing which we can prepare for our banking exams. So talking about the newspaper, you might expect this particular question. They'll be asking you whether you went through today's newspaper or not. Most of the students say that no, I didn't go through. Because like obviously in the morning we'll be more tense, we'll be nervous. So we will not, we would not have gone through the newspaper. So what immediately the next question will be like, tell me about a news which happened, which, which came in the newspaper like two days back or something like that. You can expect such kind of questions. So a best strategy for the preparation for interview will be like, try to go through five days newspaper, five days, just prior to an interview, five days, just go through the newspaper thoroughly. So that like, if you are asked to talk about any of the topics, you should be able to talk. And the one more thing what is very important is like be confident in whatever you are saying. If you are not knowing any answer, fine. Just tell them that you don't know about this answer. And again like talking in front of the mirror will be a very good helpful when you are going for the interview. Or, or also like if you have four or five friends, you can always form a team like four of them can sit that side and one person can sit this side. They can ask, start asking questions. And you should be able to answer them properly, just like considering them, not like as, as your friends, consider them as the interviewers and sit at one end, talk to them. Or I mean like, I talk to them in a sense, I'm talking about the entire body language, eye contact, face to face, everything. Yes, so I guess that this should be, I, uh, whatever the strategy, what I've told you, should be helpful for your interview process. So if you like the video, please hit the like button, give a thumbs up, Subscribe to our channel. Thank you.